What's up everybody? My name is Rishraf and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a simple paycheck system. So let's get right into the video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the teams here and we're going to insert our teams. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a red team and a blue team. The names don't have to be specific, but keep in mind your team names just in case you need them for later. I'm going to go and change my blue team to really blue. Uh, the team color, team colors are very important here. And I'm going to go ahead and change my red team to really red. Awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and insert our leader stats. Uh, it's a simple leader stat script you can find off Google or something. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to be creating leader stats. We're going to say function. All right, try a little different today. We're going to say create stats. And you're going to go ahead and select a new player. That's the parameter. So local main stats equals instance dot new into value. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, I've been putting the Kickstarter in the description in the past and previous videos. So go ahead and hit my Kickstarter. I am making a game for all platforms and it's gonna be huge. It's called Koji. It's basically an open world driving game. So please go ahead and support, it would mean so much to me if you guys could. And we're going to go ahead and insert a points value equals instance.new. We're going to make this a int value as well. And points value. Name. And thank you so much to Cookie Monster who actually donated to me on Kickstarter as well. And thank you so much to No Name who actually donated to me. Uh, shout out to you guys. You guys are what's gonna help Koji be big. So thank you so much guys. I really, really appreciate you guys. And go ahead and hit the Kickstarter link is in the description. Please go ahead and support that. I'm gonna change this to actually points. Got it confused with the value. I don't know why I have so much energy today. But I guess that's a good thing. Equals new player. Awesome. And when the player enters the game, child added. So when the player enters the game, create stats. So keep in mind, guys, uh, Koji is just made by me. There's no team. Uh, even though I do, I'm the president of a company that is supporting it. But no, it's just me. So I'm the only developer. Uh, yep. Yeah, so. That's basically Koji, so go ahead and hit that below. Sorry, I'm just really into the Koji right now. So you guys are gonna go ahead and change player emulator service to players. And once you add that, you're gonna go ahead and hit return main stats. And don't forget to add a parent equals main stats. Awesome. So that's our leaderboard. Go ahead and press play and you'll see that our leaderboard is gonna show up. Awesome. So we do have points. You guys can name the points whatever you guys want. You can name it coins, cash, whatever. Uh, I just did points for the purpose of this video. So awesome. We only have one more script left. But before we get into that script, we're going to go ahead and head over to the replicated storage. We're going to insert a folder. Let's go and call that folder team info. Now the capitalization and spelling here is crucial. So make sure you guys do follow the exact same capitalizations that I am doing. Or if you know what you're doing, then go ahead and fill in your own. So we're going to insert an int value. We're going to insert however many int values we have for teams. So for example, I have two teams. So I'm going to name this one red and I'm going to actually duplicate it. I'm going to name this one blue. Now the, they have to be the same exact spelling. So it's a capital B and a capital R, capital B and a capital R right here. Uh, that was kind of weird. I did it in reverse, but that's how we're going to do it. So this is how we're going to be paid. So the int value, so we're going to be paid for the red team. Let's go ahead and be paid 10. And for the blue, let's go ahead and be paid 5. Just so you guys can see. Now let's go ahead and insert our script. Let's go ahead and call this script payout. Uh, so, you know, you can get your daily payouts. So while we start this payout, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start up our variables. And our variables are very important here. So we're going to go ahead and start a variable called pay time. I'm going to use lower camel case because I have been coding in C sharp. 
lower camo case is awesome to work with uh, and once you get into the habit just makes your code look flawless and we're gonna get service players and I have been seeing you guys' comments I am working on making a whole bunch of stuff uh, later today I'm gonna be making a team only team only functions so you guys know when to use team only's so you guys can have like bank robberies which are team only like prisoners only uh, and mostly I'm making videos that you guys can use in your game you guys are making a lot of games like uh, jailbreak I've been getting a lot of DMs saying oh, I'm making a game like jailbreak I'm making a game like um, like Firestone some stuff like that so all my tutorials can be used in your game so we can use wait here but since we since pay time is an integer we can wait that integer so we're gonna wait the pay time which is five I just like to do five uh, actually we can do every 10 seconds yeah we don't have to change that we just have to change variable should auto end here and we're gonna go let's skip a line we'll go local D equals game players game not players and we're gonna say get children so now D is all of the players in our game and for I equals one I'm gonna do a little mini for loop here we need to hashtag hashtag D for the number of players in game number of is the hashtag see hashtag equals number so hashtag D for the number of players in the game we're gonna do if D I like to add a parenthesis after all my ifs. I'm gonna do brackets i. i is built in. Uh, it's just basically it's kind of hard to explain, but i is for i equals one. So it's basically a for loop. You guys can read on Roblox um, the manual for Lua how this works. But for the number of players is one. We just have to set that to one because each player is one. We're gonna print checking. So I'm gonna have this print statement here. Checking. I'm gonna say dot dot D I. And we have team dot name. Awesome. So let's go ahead and check this out. So every 10 seconds, it should show checking and it should show the team name. So we're gonna wait a few more seconds here. Awesome, checking red. Notice it didn't say checking blue because I'm auto assigned on the red team. So awesome, our leaders, our payout system is working. So we have that print, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. And we're gonna add another if statement. You don't have to add the parentheses, but I do. So for every player equals one, but I just put I. We're gonna go ahead and team.name is not equal unemployed. So why where are we getting does not equal unemployed at so this is a great way to find out if you do have a team called unemployed which is probably going to be auto assignable meaning that if you're around in your game you're just playing your game and you don't have a job then you're not going to get paid out and you could also skip this part and just do payout for unemployed at zero but i like to do a little more specific so your game knows what's up so if the player is unemployed if the team does not equal so this little squiggly line is does not equal unemployed then we're gonna go ahead and hit employed equals true it's just another way to make your game more secure equals false so if the if they're not unemployed then they have to be employed but if it finds out that they are on the team like else then unemployed or employed equals false it's kind of hard to explain but go ahead and rewind the video i'm going to go ahead and explain it again right now so if they're not employed if they're not on the unemployed team then they must be employed but if they are on the unemployed team then they must be employed then they can't be employed i i'm literally tongue twisting myself right now awesome so that's enough for this while function right here or this while loop here awesome so we have that and we're gonna go ahead and say if 
employed equal equal true then we're going to say we're going to wait five so this wait is the time between payments and it's like the time it's just a good number time it's not the time between payments but it, 10 pay time is how much it checks but it's just a good number to keep there and we're going to say local c equals game we can't use d because d was already used so we'll do uh local c players i don't know why emulator service keeps coming up get children we can get the children of the game and we're kind of just going to do the exact same thing here for i equals one i'm going to shoot hashtag for number of c for the number of players in game do if c so for c equals one which it is we do if so if it's one this will always be so this is just checking if c is one like if there's a c at all like if there's a player in your game it's just another verification method all of my code does is just verif verification methods meaning that it's always verifying everything so that way your code runs smoothly uh, i'm not gonna put on youtube some trash code that's probably gonna break no it's this is verifies everything so that way nobody can exploit your game if you're not a if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button now points value equals ci and when we hit the ci here we're going to say uh, leader stats oops dot leader stats dot points dot value plus rs dot team info find first child c brackets i c i is the player that we're talking about dot team dot name awesome So there's no errors in the end, which is awesome. So what we just wrote, this is, this is a long statement here, but if there's a, even a player in the game, we're gonna say the player. So C bracket I is going to be the the player in the game. Don't worry, if you have multiple players in the game, it's still gonna work the exact same. That's why we have the number of right here with the hashtag. So this points value, their points value is going to equal their points value right here that's highlighted it's going to equal the exact same points value that they have but we're going to add their team payout and before we go ahead and test here make sure that you moved this end now you're going to get an error and just add it at the bottom what does that even do for us Rishraf? well this whole loop is one so this for loop is ended by this if this if is ended by this end and this if is ended by this end as well so for every for and if statement we do have an end and notice how there's no there's no end for this while function well that's because we just moved it here before we go ahead and test again make sure you have your spelling correct let's find first child that could have been an error again waiting to happen we're gonna go ahead and set we're gonna find the first child. We're gonna find this int value. And a lot of people do forget to add value. Now, why do we have to add value here? Because when we find the folder with the team name, or when we find the int value with the team name here, see red or blue, let's just say we find red. You can't do that. You can't add a uh, integer with a string like this. You have to get the value right here. So the value is gonna be 10. So let's finally go ahead and test it out. Because if you do that, then you just get an error in your code. So the moment of truth, finally ready to get paid. I got my suit on, ready to get paid. We're gonna see our debug statements checking red. In any minute now, we should be paid. In our points or cash, whatever you guys feel like putting for your game. Awesome, so we get paid 10 points. Awesome, and just to prove that this is a while loop, it's gonna go ahead and run again. 
checking red statement has been called twice and printed to the console. See, we're at 20. Awesome. So let's go ahead and switch teams here to the blue. Let's go ahead and make that's already auto assignable. Let's take this red off. Now we set the int value to five. So now we should be paid five every time that interval goes off. So let's go ahead and let's see if we're going to get paid. I do apologize if you can hear my fans in the back. So we say checking blue now since we're the only player on the blue team. And awesome, we got paid five points. Awesome. And we're going to go ahead and let that run again. And we're going to be now we're going to be up to 10 points. So our intervals are in five points. We're getting paid in increments of five or whatever value we set for the team info. So awesome. Go ahead and comment on the video. Go ahead and support the Kickstarter, please. We're almost at our goal. We're at about $80 out of 300. So please go ahead and support that. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Much, much, much appreciated. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and comment what you want below and join the Discord. Um, I just want to thank everyone for helping me grow over the past few months. Uh, 170 subscribers. So thank you so much. We'll be making a lot more YouTube videos soon about the comments that you guys asked. So thank you. Have a great day. Listen.